After three hours of mopping the floor, I'm finally done. Now I just hope nobody tries to run through here and slip and fall. Out of the way, Freddy. I gotta take this pizza to Chica before she gets really, really mad at me. Monty, slow down. Can't you see I just mopped the floor? Jeez, can't he not read? Move it, Freddy. I gotta catch up to Monty and tell him he's running the wrong way with my pizza. How about you tell yourself to slow down and not run over the floor I just mopped for three hours? Jeez. <laughs> Who's the best? You're the best, Roxy. Who makes the best pizza? I make the best pizza. Who sings the best songs? I sing the best songs. Who's the best looking animatronic? I'm the best looking animatronic. Hey Roxy, why don't you try something new, like not walking over floors that have been mopped for three hours straight? Yar, move it or walk the plank, Freddy. I gotta catch up to Roxy. She forgot we're on a date tonight. You know what, Foxy? I hope you lose your other hand by walking over floors that just been mopped. Well, if everybody else is walking over it, I guess it's dry by now. No harm in me. Oof! Papa Bear, didn't you read the sign? This floor was just mopped. How could you run over it and be so irresponsible? <sighs> hey, Monty, do you have any eights? Ha! Go fish, Chica. I hate to disturb your rousing game of go fish, but there's an urgent matter. Somebody broke one of the arcade games and didn't bother to tell maintenance about it. So we need to find out who this culprit is so they can be properly punished. Didn't we throw you out in a previous episode? Now, now, Freddy, you know as much as anyone, this series does not have a coherent storyline. But what this series does have is a culprit who destroyed an arcade game. Now, look deep down inside you and ask, do you want to be the person who hides secrets from all your friends around you? To do something as so horrible and so despicable that you have to keep it in? It's going to eat at you inside. Now, do the proper thing and come forward with your sins and tell me who did it. I... I... Yes, Monty, do you want to admit something? I... I always fart when Chica leaves the room, and then when she comes back, I blame the smell on burnt pizza. Okay, that's definitely not what I wanted you to admit to. Secretly, I like the smell of Monty's farts because they smell like burnt pizza. Okay, seriously, that's disgusting. Now, let's get to the bottom of who broke this arcade game. Whenever I burn a pizza, I always blame it on Monty's farts and then throw away the pizza so I can make a new one so no one finds out. Honestly, what is wrong with you people? I'm secretly always happy when I see Chica leave the room because that means that Monty farted. So that means Freddy burns a pizza. So that means I have extra pizza to eat because I eat because I'm secretly really depressed. Seriously, you all need help. Okay, I know one of you has been going through my phone. Now, instead of making this a messy interview process, can one of you please just step up and admit it? Chica, were you the one who went through my phone? Oh no, Roxy, I would never do that. You're my friend. Besides, I was spending the entire afternoon eating pizza with Monty. Uh, a likely story. Well, Monty, what were you doing this afternoon? I was eating pizza with Chica, just like she said. I thought that was kind of obvious. Okay, that makes sense. I guess I'm kind of dumb for asking that one. Okay, Freddy, I know it was you, Simp Bear. Fess up, now. Why would I need the bother to look through your phone, Roxy? We already know your dark secret is, is that you have a Steam account, and you could care less if I know about that. Besides, if I opened your phone, I'm going to guarantee 99% of those are just selfies because you're so self-absorbed. Be that as it may, that doesn't put you off the hook, Bear. Foxy, you didn't look through my phone, did you, darling? Yar, you think I would do anything to disrupt the trust between the prettiest mermaid in the sea? Well, I guess that leaves you, Gregory. But I know you didn't do it. Wait, you already don't think I didn't do it? No, I don't even have any game apps on my phone, so you'd have no interest to go into there. But I do think you know who did go through my phone. 
yeah, Roxy, I might know who went through your phone, but I can't tell you, because bottom line, snitches gets... Yes, yes, I know the saying. And while that may be true, I have to say, if I can't find out who actually went through my phone, well, then I won't be able to take you out for ice cream later. It was Foxy. It was all Foxy. He thinks you're cheating on him, so he had to check your phone. You're gonna walk the plank for that one. Hey, Freddy, is that a new hat? Because it looks awesome on you. Okay, kid, okay. What is it you want? What do you mean, Freddy? Can't a friend just compliment another friend on how they look? Kid, you never just compliment me. It's always you either broke something or you want something. So what is it? Freddy, I'm very insulted to think that I would only be complimenting you if I broke something or if I wanted something. Can't you see I just appreciate our friendship for what it is? Kid, stop embarrassing yourself and spit it out. I want the new DLC for Fortnite. Okay, Greg, it's snack time. Now, what do you want for a snack? Hmm, can I have two slices of pizza? Two slices of pizza? But Greg, you're only a little baby. You can't have two slices of pizza. But Monty, you're my favorite animatronic. Please? Well, as long as you think I'm your favorite. Later that day. Okay, kiddo, it's snack time. What do you want for a snack? Foxy, I want two slices of pizza. Two slices of pizza? Gregory, you're just a little baby. You can't have that many slices of pizza. But, Roxanne, you're my favorite animatronic. Oh, all right, kiddo. Since I'm your favorite, just don't tell anyone, okay? Even more later. Okay, kid. It's time for snack time. What can I get you for a snack? I will take two slices of pizza, Freddy. Kid, I can't give you that much pizza. You're just a little baby. You can't handle it. Please, Freddy, you're my favorite animatronic. Okay, kid, okay. Just don't tell anyone I did this for you, all right? Finally, at the end of the day. Here you go, Chica. Here's all the extra slices of pizza I collected for you at the end of the day. Oh, thank you, Gregory. You're so sweet. Well, Chica, you know I only do this because you're my honest favorite. Makes five wins in a row, Papa Bear. Up for another one? Yeah, sure, little bean. But no choosing Goku this time. He's cheap. Hey, he's part of the game. And if it's part of the game, it's not cheating. Gregory! Huh, I wonder why Bonnie's calling me. What do you want, Bonnie? Gregory! Bonnie, I'm right here. What do you want? Gregory, come over here now! Uh, seriously? All right, Bonnie, I'm here. What do you want? Okay, Greg, first of all, don't take that tone with me, all right? I'm sorry. It's just that you kept yelling at me and I got angry. So what do you want, Bonnie? Well, Greg, can you go get Glamrock Freddy for me? Wait, I was standing right next to him. Why didn't you call him instead of me? Don't question me, young man. You know what? Sometimes I really wish Monty ripped you apart like all the comments say. Hey, little bean. I got a surprise for you. What is it, Freddy? Is it toys? Is it candy? Is it a bunch more secrets that I can use to manipulate you guys? Nope. It's your new nanny. Hello there, little bean. Oh, you are just adorable. What in the world are you? Oh, I'm Marionette, but you can call me Mary. And we're gonna be best friends. I just know it, little bean. Freddy? Get me out of here, and get me out of here now, please! I'm sorry, kid, but I can't babysit you alone anymore. But... No buts, Greg. I got a pizza restaurant to run, okay? Don't worry, you and Mary will get along just fine. I know it. Five minutes later. Hey, Fetch, you wanna play? Now, 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 little bean. Good little boys don't play with dogs. Another five minutes later. Oh boy, all the pizza I can eat! No, 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 little bean. Good little boys, don't eat pizza like that. Another five minutes later. Huh, looks like Chica and Monty are on a date. It'd be a horrible thing if I came along and ruined it for them. No, 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 little bean. 
good little boys don't ruin fan-made ships on the internet. You heard me, comment section. Uh, am I allowed to do anything? Like, were you this strict with the last child you watched over? Yeah, well, about that. And then I think they stuffed his dead body in a robot or something. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna survive the week, am I? Alright, just two more pounds of makeup and I'll be ready to go out on my date with Foxy. Um, excuse me, where do you think you're going dressed like that? Excuse me, who do you think you are barging into my room? Don't you know, I'm the star of the show. Oh, my apologies. I'm the new nanny here, but you can call me Mary. Oh, I want to call you a lot of things, but YouTube would strike this video down. So now, I know you're the nanny for the little bean, but what does that give you the right to be in my room? <coughs> oh, I guess Freddy didn't tell you. Not only am I the little bean's nanny, but I'm also everybody's nanny as well, and that includes you. Now, would I be a good nanny if I let the person who I was watching over go out looking like a thought? You think I look like a thought? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think you look like a thought. A thought would actually have some decency and not wear that skimpy little outfit. No, 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 no. Now, don't worry. I have just the thing for you to wear out on your date. Five minutes later. Oh, oh dear me. Don't you look adorable. Oh, dear God. For once in my life, I feel ugly enough that I might actually date Freddy. Ha, here we are, Chica. A place we can finally be alone. Um, Monty, are you sure we're alone? Like there is no creeper watching us right now? Oh, come on, Chica. We're in the lowest level of the pizza plex. Who could possibly be watching us right now? Oh, God. This is so hot. Um, Monty, I gotta say, it is really creepy and dark in here. Chica, don't you realize? Some of the best things happen in the dark. That's why we kiss with our eyes closed. Mmm. Ah. Oh, well, aren't you two just so adorable? Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm Mary, the new nanny for the Pizza Plex. And I have to say, as the nanny, I gotta help pull the rules. And the rules say, no kissing for employees. So kisses are something I can't let pass. Well, if kisses can't be passed, then you can take my gas. Oh God, Monty. This is coming from someone who eats trash normally, but that was disgusting. Oh, so it's chemical warfare you want. Well, then it's chemical warfare you're going to get. Monty, are you okay? You got blasted through the vent! Uh. Freddy, you gotta do something about this nanny. She's driving me nuts. She won't let me do anything. I'm sorry, Greg. The nanny just helps out too much. You're just gonna have to deal with it. What do you mean, helps out? The only thing he does is button up all our personal business. Heck, me and Monty haven't had a moment alone since that horrible nanny came in. I'm sure you're just exaggerating, Chica. Aside, I think you and Monty should spend some time apart anyway. You're getting all too lovey-dovey. The customers are starting to complain. Yeah, Freddy. Ever since Mary come on this show, my screen time has been cut down ridiculously. Okay, for one, your screen time has been cut down ridiculously because your brother started dating Roxanne. Speaking of which, where is Roxanne anyway? Freddy, we got to get rid of this nanny right now. Look what he made me wear. Oh dear God, Roxanne, I'm so sorry. We gotta get rid of this nanny right away. Oh my God, Freddy, you're such a simp bear. Five minutes later. So wait a minute. You're telling me that he's the one who convinced his father to eat the Founding Titan all the way from the future? That's crazy! Hey Mary, sorry to bother you, 
but I think there's this purple creature outside that's haunting and terrorizing all these children. Oh no, I won't let you get away with this again, Afton. Huh, well hopefully this works. Okay, you purple monstrosity, let go of those kids right now. What do you mean? These kids are super de duper. Wait a minute, you're not the purple monster I was thinking of. Huh, pretty, let me... Oh, and he just locked me out. Oh, looks like things can't get any worse for me now. Don't worry. I love you. I don't love you. Bet you don't got a choice.